this is much more than a trend. This is a new way of thinking about things. It just makes food a lot better. While I was out in San Francisco earlier this week, I got a chance to check in with a ton of cutting edge companies at the forefront of innovation in their fields. And the thing about innovation is that it's not just limited to technology companies. Take Hampton Creek Foods. It's a privately held business, meaning you can't own shares in it right now, that's riding the healthy eating zeitgeist by creating and now selling plant-based, egg-free alternatives for mayo and cookie dough. You might have seen their products in your local grocery store under the Just Mayo Oh, this is just Jim, I'm sorry. And just cookies brands, which are now being distributed by Compass Group, and that's the largest food service company on earth. Now, I got a chance to catch up again with Josh Tetrick. He's the founder and CEO of Hampton Creek Foods earlier this week. I want you to take a look. If we're talking disruptive technologies, we got to talk about food. Josh, I know you're reinventing food, actually, genomically, basically. You're going through algorithms, finding the right kind of stuff. The best success so far you've had is mayonnaise. We talked last time. Since then, you've won a big contract. Tell me about it. It's the biggest food service company in the world, Jim. Four billion meals a year they serve. And they're moving, ahead, moving away from their current mayo and replacing it entirely with ours. And the reason why it's such a big deal is the impact. Over a billion gallons of water saved. And it gives us a national distribution infrastructure in a snap. And it's going to help us. All right, so this is Compass. Now, Compass uh, provides food to a lot of different places. Yeah. Well, you have packets, like instead of Hellman's, your packets. Well, we got packets. We got pumps. I have a, a special packet to show you. This is our, our flavored mayo. This is the sriracha. So you can open up, you put on anything you want. You can put on a veggie sandwich or you can put on a hamburger. Now, why did they switch to you? Is it because of the water or is it because of the expense? Is your stuff cheaper? A couple big things. The first is we asked this question as a company, what would it look like if we just started over? Right. And if we did the good thing, the thing that is better for the body, no cholesterol, less sodium, better for the environment, water, carbon emissions, land, would taste better. And it does. And it's also a little bit less expensive. <coughs> okay, well, now I want to try to figure out the company raised a lot of money. At the same time, the New York Times said you've had some layoffs. The director of bakery innovation, director of people operations, a senior scientist, trying to reconcile how well you're doing with these layoffs and whether they're actual layoffs or just changes you made. It's really just changes. We're hiring a ton of people. We, you are. We, yeah. just, we just hired seven people in the last 30 days. So we're hiring a lot more than we're, we're letting people go. It's, it's all the process of becoming a better company. That's what we're pushing away at. Well, th then you must have other things in mind besides just mayonnaise right now. We got pasta we're turning on. You know that's pasta? You know that's scrambled egg that you taste yes, a little bit of go through. said it wasn't right, ready when I it's first not, It's still not ready. It's okay. still not ready, but we're pushing ahead of it. We got cookies, many more flavors of cookies. We're coming out with custards and yogurts and all sorts of different things in the future. All right, so tell me about Walmart and Costco. I know that you've won them over, but how much business are you doing with them? Is it big? It's pretty big. The big thing about both Walmart and Costco is expanding the category. So we're expanding the category across all the retailers about 25%. So people who weren't normally eating this stuff before because either they didn't like it, they didn't think it was good for their body, are now coming into the category. And that really matters for these retailers. And it's helping us grow our shelf space and do what we need to do. Now, are you uh, pigeonholed into the natural food area? Or are you right, right next to Mayo? Where are you? Jim, the biggest reason why Unilever filed a lawsuit against us is because we're resistant. We're resistant to being natural and alternative and substitute. We want to be the main thing. So in all these retailers with Compass Group, that's exactly what we are. Okay, where are you on issues like GMO? I mean, we heard that Chipotle has pulled out all yeah. of GMO. I mean, you're, uh, I, I can't imagine there's much preservative in this. No, so there, there are 400,000 plants around the world. Right. We screen through them, we try to find the best of them. We don't think you need to synthesize. We don't think you have to mess with it. So these are non-GMO products, but I have to say, there are, there are all sorts of different ways of doing things. So right. we don't take sort of a, a stance as a company on it, but we don't think we have to mess with food to make it awesome. Someone said to me after I did a segment with you before, you know what, Mother Nature makes perfectly good eggs. I had some eggs laid by a hen the other day. They were so darn good. Yep. I mean, how do you compete with a hen? Yeah, well, I think you compete with a hen in the same way that a car competed with a horse and buggy. You just make it a lot better, right? You make it less expensive, you make it taste better, and whether you're making mayo or cookies or pasta, if you just think differently about things, man, you can just make it better. You don't have to do it the same way you did before. Now, how do we know that uh, Costco periodically takes something in and they have a treasure hunt, and then it goes out. Yeah. Have you been consistent with Costco, or is it one-off? We, we've been plowing away with them, and I think the key for us in Costco is two things. One, we got to do trial, right? So right. we actually have our own people. We call them creakers. They actually, 
Creekers. We talked to Creek. All right, Creekers. Creek. Yeah. So they, they they share the stories about what we're doing, and actually, we're one of the least expensive mayos in Costco. So for us, remember, it's that philosophy of breaking through this alternative nonsense right. and reaching towards everyone. All right, now it's a hot day. <laughs> now I remember when I was running track, my mom made me a sandwich. It was a tuna sandwich, yeah. and she told me, you know, listen, if it gets hot. It's going to get salmonella. Don't eat the darn thing because the mayo. Can we take a look to see what you've got here? Because this is I, some bacon, I, some bacon mayo. I would love to make you some if it's all right. All right. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is the. We're mayo. not going to get salmonella. You're not going to get it's any salmonella. Not, like not only you're not going to get salmonella, you're not going to consume any cholesterol. You're going to have less sodium. It's less. Land. I'm not going to have to take a blood test to see how my cholesterol is. I'm, I'm thinking. That hopefully you have. You like how it tastes, Jim. So you want some turkey cheese? What are you looking for? On I like. Sandwich? I like turkey. Some turkey. No cheese. I, I just let's put. It. Let's put some turkey. Let's put a little lettuce on your sandwich. Let's get in here. You probably want a lot. Well, I mean, if it doesn't have a lot of calories yeah, on let, game. Let, let's put let's put a lot. You mind, you, mind, you mind holding the lettuce, it's sir? Like a vanilla ice cream. Just give me one. Give right. me the slice so yeah, I can right. put them out. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Get a good good amount for you. And again, the whole purpose is, Jim. I want you to enjoy good food, and make it a little bit easier. All right. Let me taste it. Josh Tetrick. I know my mom said never never talk with your mouth full, but. Josh Tetrick, founder and CEO of Hampton Creek Foods. I'll tell you something, I can't believe it's mayo. This is what we call the nanotainer, okay. which is a very small tube that's designed to replace the big vials that you take out of your arm when you draw blood traditionally with a tiny drop that can come from a finger. What does this mean for the traditional way we do diagnosis? We believe strongly that the future of healthcare is in enabling the individual to have the information that they need to take ownership of their health. One day, I, I won't even be able to see the chip. It'll be more powerful than the mainframe. This button is actually a computer. You have to remain curious and you have to remain critical. If you're curious in, in business, you're curious in life, you're learning every day. And if you're critical, you feel objective enough to look at your best work and say, how can we do it better? They're coming from all of the other carriers, mainly because we're doing my philosophy of business. We're listening to our employees and listening to our customers and shutting up and doing what they tell us. And so far, the uncarrier is resonating with customers in a big way. Everything we do is digital and the threat is to the digital age. So if we can't get this right, meaning we can't get this risk compartmentalized into something acceptable, it's possible that you know, the way of life may have to change. I had some eggs laid by a hen the other day. They were so darn good. Yep. I mean, how do you compete with a hen? I think you compete with a hen in the same way that a car competed with a horse and buggy. You just make it a lot better, right? You make it less expensive, you make it taste better, and whether you're making mayo or cookies or pasta, if you just think differently about things, man, you can just make it better. You don't have to do it the same way you did before. We deliver it within one hour, two hour, or same day from your favorite stores. Amazon delivers the next day with their Amazon Fresh program, and they deliver it from their warehouses. Customers want the groceries from Whole Foods. They want the groceries from Costco. The idea behind Postmates is what if you can use the city as a warehouse? What if you understand the city is a where? The city as a where. I mean, imagine how beautiful that is. Why do I need hotel tonight as a consumer, and why do I need it as a hotel? For the consumer side, we make this great mobile app that makes it really easy to snag a room at the last minute. About 40% of all hotel rooms in the country, in the world, are empty right now. We can help them fill those rooms. It's win-win. Milton Friedman said the business of business is business, and, you know, stay in the guardrails. And um, I think there's been a pretty big shift. The business of business is improving the state of the world. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.